What's up, y'all? It's Timmy, and today we're doing the Cheap Snowmobile Challenge. Spassy freaking can, boys. Oh, dick. Ooh. Let's go. Right now I'm taking you guys to Turnigan Pass, which is one of the most notorious areas in Alaska for snow machining. So we're gonna take an old classic today. It's a 2003 RMK, it's a 700 cc engine. I picked it up pretty cheap. It's worth about a thousand dollars on the NADA Blue Book. And most snow machines today are anywhere between 15 and $20,000. So let's go see how it holds up to the test. Ooh, we get a nice day up here. This is the first blue day we've had in like a freaking month. All right, we're here. Let's get unloaded. I realized I'd never introduced the sled to you. This is the 2003 Polaris RMK. It's got the 700 engine, probably Polaris's most reliable engine, and a 151 track, which is extra long back in the day. Paddles, I don't know, probably two inch paddles or so. Bunch of seat storage. It's in great shape for what it is. Uh, pull start, carbureted, obviously. Got the choke. It's got hand warmers. Got a freaking reverse. They all didn't come with reverses back then. It's obviously in pretty good shape, but it's also obviously still 20 years old. If you guys haven't checked out one pug life go check out his stuff down there in canada i made that sticker myself you watch his stuff and you'll get it i'll leave a link in the description for his channel here he freaking goes boys oh for a freaking rip oh dick oh dick holy spassy freaking can boys oh dick oh dick oh that's the most awesome -er jump ah! ever Anyway, everyone and their mother and their grandmother has a brand new sled these days. I picked this thing up, got it for a pretty good deal. Really, I just wanted to see what these old sleds are capable of because a lot of people can't afford all these new sleds and the most important part is just get out and ride, right? So we're gonna put this thing to the test today. We're gonna be doing a little bit of carving around near the creek for a little ways and we're gonna go up in those hills, mess around in the woods and uh, try to make it all the way up that mountain. And it just snowed, so we'll see what happens. Let's do it. rips oh man
again. We're gonna climb somewhere around 2,000 feet, 1,500 feet, something like that. See what happens. <laughs> Shockingly well. <laughs> oh my god. That's kind of the small part of the climb. This is where it starts getting a little crazier. Let's bust the drone out and uh, see if we can make it up. Hopefully it goes smooth. This is it. I made it to the peak. <laughs> so awesome. Oh, look at their dropping over there on skis. What? Skiing those spines. This is all the back bowls of Turnigan. I forget the names. Like one's Widowmaker, one's Warm Up Bowl. I think Seattle Bowl is behind us. Maybe it's Warm Up, I don't know. Gorgeous up here. I'm here to tell you that these old sleds, you can still rip on them. I haven't taken it into the really tight trees. See how it handles in there, so we're gonna do that next, but this is the first major test, just seeing if we can get all the way to a peak like this. Pretty cool. What's happening, boys? What's up, Timmy? What's going on? Oh, there he is! What's going on, dude? Like Long time your, no see. Where's your sled? So you Have some, you broke it yet? Yeah, she's beating. down the hill. Not yet. <laughs> Sounded like that was a plan. Hey, what's up? I mean, Come here! Is that the plan? Is the plan? I mean, no, I need to try to keep it alive. What motor you got in that oldie? I think a 700. Oh, it's that's yeah, yeah, pretty solid. I was like, he's pulling the 550 out! Yeah, the old banner. And this is what it's all about, guys. Just getting out there. It doesn't matter what you're riding. Just freaking get out and do it. I'm gonna catch a breather for a minute and uh, we'll go hit the trees. So now we're gonna try the side hill challenge and show you guys how well you can still side hill an old snow machine or how well you can't. We're gonna try to come right across this side hill right at the camera here. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> Totally rocking old sled. If you guys are watching this right now, go ahead and hit that uh, like button if you're enjoying this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. A lot of work goes into this stuff. Just a little bit. All these shots. Gonna get the shot. 
Anyway, I'm absolutely loving this machine. This thing for like a 2003, it's 20 years old. That was great. It's like a thousand dollar snow machine and uh, getting it done, man. It's getting it done, Dick. <laughs> All right, now for our final challenge, we're gonna go hit the trees and uh, see how it does getting through these trees. She bogged on me. Oh, that hard hit made me bog. It's all right, we'll get turned around. I was gonna go watch Greg and those guys come down. Pretty good stick. <laughs> Take the track out a little. <laughs> Hot damn and Fred man. Woo! Ah, almost had it. I got kicked right there by that. Oh, now I'm warm. Anyway, my first stick. I guess we're going that way. Continue the mission. I don't know why I bogged. How's this thing <laughs> holding up? Fucking ripping, dude. God, <laughs> it makes me not want to pay $20,000 for sled ever again. Right? It's a ripper, eh? Oh, yeah, man. I just got it and stuck a second ago, though, but. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be a fucking true trip like getting no. stuck once. boys made it down to the bottom of Little Maker Bowl with the RMK. Now I gotta get back up somehow. So uh see how that goes. Hill climb challenge part two. Alright, gotta pin her bud. back up the mountain now somehow already feeling it in my back hope i don't get stuck again this chair feels a little bit loose <laughs>
sleds are pretty incredible though. I mean, look at that. I could climb it to probably about right there. That'd be about it. They just keep going. Just the power and the track speed and the turbo and paddles, and the tracks are longer. Let's go cruise up valley. Maybe this belt's cooler by now. made it back down somehow down to the bottom of turning and pass epic day i am crazy beat up right now pretty sore but man i'll tell you what you may be more tired at the end of the day but you get back home at the end of the day and have just as much fun i just had a blast on this thing almost back to the parking lot oh man i am feeling beat you use your body a lot more to move this thing around but you still get the job done <laughs> it up again it was a good day we'll do it again soon anyway i just had a blast today on this thing and just goes to show you old snow machines you can still get her done so that's all i'm gonna say hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of stuff and uh see you on the next one peace y'all